What's up you guys, Eddie Fliptronics. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to cancel an iTunes purchase. So you guys can actually do this through your iPhone, iPad, or you guys can use any kind of PC or Mac. But what you wanna do, you guys, is um, you know act quickly. Uh, the quicker the better, but you wanna to go to reportaproblem.apple.com. All right, as soon as you guys go to this, uh, you know, this site on Apple, you'll be able to log in and then it'll pull up any uh, downloaded apps that you've done pretty much in the last 90 days. So the so i mean if there's anything suspicious that you guys saw maybe that you think you didn't pay for or that was uh charged to your account this is where you guys can do it so i'm going to leave a link in the description for this guys so you can just go straight to the link if you're using um you know if you're on your uh, pc or iphone or whatever all right so uh i'm just gonna you know grab a random app in here i'll just do the nba live one but uh that was a free one but anyways you just click on the app and then it'll pull up a little option uh, bar right here where it'll, say, where it'll say choose a problem. Then you can just, you know, click I didn't authorize this purchase. Uh, I didn't download this, whatever. Then you would click done. And then um, that'll be pretty much it. So you guys can just pretty much whatever whatever the issue is, you guys can take care of it from here. Uh, typically, Apple will get back to you within about 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, like 48 to 72 hours. But if there was anything suspicious or you just need to get money back on an app that you don't like or, uh, you know, didn't even download correctly and you got charged for it, this is where you would do it. So anyways, you guys, I would appreciate it if you guys liked this video, shared it. As always, guys, thanks for watching it. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.